guys welcome back to my channel if you are new here welcome my name is Jazen Livier and on my channel you can expect videos on beauty fashion fitness and my lifestyle so guys as you can tell from the title of this video so last week we did talk about my chemical peel experience and this week I am kind of like gonna show you guys the process that I went through before revealing the chemical peel um, that I actually used on my skin. So this video, I'm basically going to explain to you guys like the different steps and procedure that you need to take if you are deciding to do a chemical peel, if it's on your face or if it's like um, a full body chemical peel. This is kind of like the steps that you have to do in order to ensure you receive like the best results possible. And this is kind of like the steps that I did to ensure that I received the best results possible. And in terms of date for my hand, so this is my hand right now. It's almost finished peeling. So I still have like some areas in my knuckles still peeling on my hand area there. It's still peeling. Um, my feet as well is still peeling, but it's almost finished. Um, I am going to take a bath because I recently came from getting my anniversary gift. So I am so excited. I am going to be revealing my anniversary gift with you guys. So look out for that because the 18th of this month is Adam and myself anniversary. We are celebrating our four year anniversary. So I can't wait for that. Anyway, we're talking about chemical peel. So without further ado, you guys, let's just get into this video. Okay guys, so I'm using an artificial light today because I came home pretty late and I didn't really get to catch the daylight outside. So we are working with artificial light. So I hope you guys can see my skin properly. And as well, I do have on um, the Fenty Beauty powder foundation. I don't have on any foundation besides that powder foundation. So this is my skin currently, how it look with that powder foundation on. Um, I did want it to come to you guys with no um, foundation on as I did for my last video. But unfortunately, I couldn't do it on this occasion because I had to go out and I now came back from outside. Anyway, let's just talk about like preparing your skin for like any type of chemical peel. So again, I do have notes on my phone that I am going to be looking at because I did prepare notes for you guys just to make sure that I share the best possible information. The first thing that I would say is like wherever you decide to buy your chemical peel, whatever instructions that that company have or whatever instructions that your dermatologist advise you, do follow those instructions because you don't want to do more harm than good. The reason why we're doing a chemical peel is probably could be for hyperpigmentation, could be for um, eczema, could be for like dark spot, could be something to help get rid of like fine lines and wrinkles because chemical peel also helps with getting rid of fine lines and wrinkles as well. So whatever you choose to do a chemical peel for, make sure and follow the steps carefully because we want to ensure we do more good than harm. So that's that's the first advice that I want to give to you guys. And also make sure it's like a certified seller, whoever you buy this chemical peel from, because these things is like acid that you are going to be putting on your skin. So you just want to make sure that whoever you decide to buy from that they are certified and that they have good reviews and those things even if you decide to go and do it by a dermatologist not because it's a dermatologist that means it's safe you also have to make sure that this dermatologist it has good reviews and is well certified before deciding that you want to go and do something so drastic as a chemical peel if you're doing any chemical peel like on your face or on your entire body you need to stop any type of like physical exfoliation that you do so if I give an example for me I would sometimes use the ordinary AHA um, peel or I would sometimes use um, glycolic um, exfoliation on my face so all of those things you need to stop it 48 hours before doing a chemical peel for me because my skin is so sensitive I did stop like using any type of like harsh like chemicals on my face or like physical exfoliant I did stop using it like a week before 
what I did um, I was washing my face like with a very gentle um, face wash I do have the face wash here just to show you guys so this is the face wash that I was using I hope you can see it so it's from face dairy and it's just a very gentle foaming face wash with aloe vera and green tea extract and also this face wash is like really really good for someone that have like sensitive skin so I know I was gonna do the chemical peel so a week before applying the chemical peel to my face I was only using this face wash on my face nothing else so when it came to moisturizer um, I was using this aloe vera gel and I was also using in this rose hip seed oil from the ordinary I don't know if you guys can see that yeah so I was just using these two things on my face and sometimes I was using raw shea butter on my face so I was using like really natural things on my face before actually applying the chemical peel when it came to my body I gave my body seven days without any physical exfoliation or anything like that and in terms of like um, bath wash what I was using for my body I was just using this Fate in Nature, it's a really natural um, bath wash and it's for people with sensitive skin as well. So this was really good, very gentle on the body and I made sure I not have like any visible bruising or any visible cut on my skin before applying a chemical peel because if you have any bruising or if you have any cut on your skin you are just gonna damage your skin so you just want to make sure that your skin is very calm it's very cool no bruising or anything like that just very simple and you're ready to do a chemical peel so I did that for seven days that was like my process and in terms of moisturizing my body I did also use um, the shea butter to moisturize my body and sometimes I would put some aloe vera as well but with the aloe vera it does have my skin feeling a bit sticky so like the main thing I was using on my body was um, the shea butter I would advise um, before doing um, a chemical peel a full body chemical peel a face chemical peel is to stay away from like tanning beds or if like you're exposed to like sunlight try your best to stay away from like harsh sunlight or if you are exposed to a lot of sunlight try to wear sunscreen and I would say do that for like 48 hours like try to keep away from the Sun because when I was going to actually do my peel I kept away from like the sun, direct sun like 48 hours but before that I, I literally I needed to go outside and get stuff I needed to go to the supermarket I wanted to go for a run I wanted to like exercise so like I needed to go outside but when I did go outside I was using like a lot of SPF so I use SPF 50 I'm gonna show you guys the SPF that I use in case like you guys wanna know oh, what SPF does she use. So this is the body SPF that I use. So it's La Roche Posay and it's SPF 50. So this SPF is amazing. I will do a review on this. And I also use the La Roche Posay um, sunscreen for my face as well. So that is what I use and I always try to like top up on my sunscreen. Um, every two hours so if I know I'm gonna be outside in the Sun for quite a while I always try to um, top up on my sunscreen every two hours anyway so yes you try to stay away from direct sunlight tanning beds um, heat as well say for instance like if you're cooking and those things try to keep your face away from the heat at least 48 hours before going to do the chemical peel um, in terms of like exercising I'm a person like I love to exercise I love to work out but you have to as well like stop like very like intense workouts I would say like 48 hours before doing the chemical peel for me I did stop doing workouts like a week or so I think a little less than a week I stopped doing like my runs and those things because I know I didn't want my body to be heated up because I knew that I was gonna do a full body chemical peel but for some people who is just gonna do like a chemical peel on your face or like certain parts of the body just to get rid of like some spots 
um, or like some hyperpigmentation or eczema or whatever you probably won't have to do like all of these steps but for someone that wants to actually do like a full body chemical peel like I did I would say definitely take these steps that I did in order to ensure you receive the best results for the chemical peel because you don't want to get like hyperpigmentation after doing a chemical peel because you can't get hyperpigmentation if you don't follow the correct steps for the chemical peel another thing I want to advise is if you do decide to get a chemical peel ensure to drink lots of water before doing the chemical peel and also doing and also after doing the chemical peel because your body is gonna be so dehydrated because obviously your skin is gonna be so dry and those things after so you want to ensure to keep up with drinking loads of water so for me what what I did like back then and what I'm doing now so I have this bottle this massive bottle guys this bottle is amazing for me it is amazing because I hear drinking water there is nothing that anyone can do to get me to drink water I just literally hear drinking water and since I, I got this bottle which is like over two months now yeah I have been literally drinking my two liter of water because this bottle is like two liters and I always try to drink like a full bottle of this every single day and if I don't finish drink it I know that I didn't accomplish my daily intake of water for example so today um, my water is up to here already I drink up to here and it's now 9 13 so I still have a lot of water to drink before going to bed so um, I'm literally just gonna sit down and just be chunking this water down and in, inside my body because I need to keep up with drinking my two liter of water so definitely this is one thing I would advise you if you do decide to get a chemical peel and also if you want to have amazing skin and healthy skin you need to be drinking lots of water because water also helps to flush you out last advice I would say bef um, before applying a chemical peel is like you want to ensure that your skin is clean um, you want to before applying the peel you just want to make sure and um, like you shower properly again with a natural um, body wash or with a natural face wash so you know you ensure the area is um, well cleaned you ensure it is properly dried as well and then you are able to apply the chemical peel and that was basically the steps that I took so I would put up all the steps that I took on screen so like if you guys can't remember everything that I said in this video I just put everything up on screen for you so you can just like easily like screenshot it and have it for your knowledge so guys this video was short and sweet as I said for my last video that is it if you are planning to do a chemical peel just be careful be very very careful with your skin just remember if you do have issues with your skin in terms of like hyperpigmentation or like dark marks or anything like that remember to wear your sunscreen as well because sunscreen does help like prevent like your dark marks from getting darker and it could be a way as to also help to treat um, dark marks because for instance like if you are spot treating you would wear your sunscreen because that would help to to keep the spot because that would help to maintain the lightness that you are doing so guys that is it for this video I hope you guys enjoyed this video um so this week I am gonna be revealing the product so keep tuned and um, please remember to like comment and subscribe to my channel because we are still on our journey to our 1k guys like it's taken me forever to hit that 1k but I think it's because I was like really slow with uploading and again I am sorry about that I am gonna be bringing all those videos for you guys so anyway guys I hope you enjoyed this video I hope it was informative for some of you guys who is just waiting for me to say what product I use and you just want to go and try doing a chemical peel yourself soon this week I am gonna be revealing the product that I use to do my chemical peel and I got amazing results as well anyway guys thank you all so much for joining me on this video and always remember to support my channel with love